No, Luke. I am your father. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Happy May the 4th. We got to do it. We got to say it, guys. So let's get ready. Let's say it all together. May the 4th be with you. I just had to do it. So in celebration of Star Wars Day, I'm going to be ranking the Star Wars movies. Now, before I get into my rankings, I'm not going to be including episodes 7 through 9. That's not Star Wars to me, all right? To me, Star Wars is George Lucas, episodes one through six. That's the saga. So as far as I'm concerned, Disney can suck these Force-sensitive nuts. If you want me to make a separate video explaining why I don't think those movies are good and why I don't consider them to be Star Wars, I can do that. Leave that in the comment section below. But I'm going to focus on the good stuff today, so let's go ahead and focus on episodes one through six. So I'm going to be ranking the movies from best to worst. So as my number one all-time favorite Star Wars movie, it's got to be between between episodes three and five and I lean towards episode three Revenge of the Sith. This is my favorite Star Wars movie and not only that it's one of my all-time favorite movies period. Let's just start with the music okay we all love Star Wars soundtrack. I mean it's one of the most iconic soundtracks ever and in particular episode three has some of the best scores in there. I mean talk about the Imperial March. Some of the just the best music you're gonna hear from Star Wars is in Revenge of the Sith. The lightsaber scenes are the best in this movie. I mean it's hard to argue any other film having better lightsaber scenes. Maybe episode one because of the Darth Maul but all in all, I think episode 3 has some of the best fight choreographed scenes. I mean, the lightsaber duel between Anakin and Obi-Wan and Mustafar is just... Perfection. Now there are some criticisms about this movie's dialogue, and I understand there are some one-liners that are a bit iffy. A security hologram of him killing younglings. But even though they're not great, I, I still hold this as number one. I don't think that's enough for me to hate that movie. Um, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith is my number one all-time favorite Star Wars movie. So moving on number two, it's gonna be episode five. Like I said, this is a very close second to Revenge of the Sith because it's almost a perfect film as well. I mean, so the way I like to explain it to people is like, if you grew up in this day and age, you would say LeBron James is the best basketball player, right? But if you grew up back in Michael Jordan's time, you're more than likely gonna say MJ's the best, right? You're gonna side with the guy that you grew up with more than likely, and I grew up with the Star Wars prequels, so that's why I tend to lean towards episode three more than episode five, but make no mistake, episode five is a fantastic film. And I wanna talk about this scene in particular, because we all know the famous scene from this movie, Luke. I am your father. Awesome scene. I mean, we can go into depth about that, but the scene that I think doesn't get talked about enough is the scene where Luke Skywalker gains his consciousness back in the Yeti's cave and sees the lightsaber that's about a couple feet away from him and he has to use the force for the very first time. This scene, bro, let me tell you something. I'm a pothead and the first time that I saw episode five high, this scene was super intense. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat like, is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Oh my God. Oh, he got it! The motherfucker got it! So yeah, as you can tell, it was a pretty intense scene to watch when you're baked. Moving on to number three, it's gonna be episode six, Return of the Jedi. This movie is just an epic finale. I mean, if you wanna see an epic movie with epic fight scenes and epic everything, just epic, 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 this is the one. I mean, obviously the fight scene in the Death Star with Sidious watching him versus Vader is just super cinematic and super cool and the dark layer of the Sith, it's just awesome. I mean, the ending there is awesome. Vader finally taking his mask off, Luke finally Finally coming into his own and showing all his skills and powers. This movie is really just a great ending to that first trilogy. The only problem I have might be the Ewoks. It's a little bit too much and it's just kind of like a crash grab a little bit. It's like, oh, I see what they're doing here. They're just making this so they can sell all these toys. And then they made a spin-off with that movie. Ugh, I didn't really like that. But other than that, it's a good movie and obviously part of one of the greatest trilogies ever made. Moving on to number four, ironically, it's going to be Star Wars Episode Four. Out of the original trilogy, I would say this is my least favorite, just because the more and more I watch it over again, it's just a bit slow, you know? It's not as fast paced as five and six, and I just think I get a little bit bored. It's still a fantastic film. I still watch it every year. It's just you could feel it's an old movie. Like I said earlier, the lightsaber scene is not the best. There is only one lightsaber scene, so it's, it's not super exciting and going to keep you on the edge of your seat. 
it's more just appreciating the original story and appreciating like wow this was a work of art that revolutionized film I mean there's still some iconic scenes like when they first enter that bar and they see all the aliens and stuff that's a great scene Han Solo is awesome in the movie it's still a fantastic classic and you got to keep it in there moving on to number five I'm gonna put episode one now a lot of people hate on episode one and I don't understand. Dude, I love this movie, man. I grew. This is the movie I grew up with, man. So let's go over the pros, and then obviously there's some cons that we can go over too. But man, Darth Maul versus Obi Wan and Qui Gon. Oh my God! Talk about a lightsaber scene, bro. That scene when Darth Maul comes out with the double-edged lightsaber against Qui Gon and Obi Wan. Tell me that's not one of the most badass scenes you've seen. Tell me that is not one of the most badass scenes you've ever seen. Oh, I love, to this day, that scene is kick ass, man. Yes, Anakin can be annoying as a kid. I, I, I get it, bro, but like I said, man, I grew up with these movies. I cannot hate on them. And episode one, I love episode one, especially with Darth Maul and all that, and Qui-Gon. I love Qui-Gon, one of my favorite characters, but I gotta put him as number five. I cannot put this as the last one. I have too much room in my heart for this movie. And I hate, it, it hurts me when people talk bad about this movie. I understand there's bad stuff about it, but it's still Star Wars to me. I'm putting it as number five. And finally, number six, it's gotta be episode two. I understand episode one has some bad liners, but god damn it, there's some bad ones in episode two. I mean, I don't like sand. It's rough and it's coarse. It's like, ah! I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. I just can't wait episode 2 sometimes, but like I said, I still love episode 2. It's still very entertaining. I still watch it a lot. The scene where Obi-Wan fights Boba Fett in that water planet, super cool when he meets the clones and all that. Really love that whole part of the film. And I think one of my friends said it best, he loves Star Wars, and the way he would describe me is like, do you like a million dollars? million dollars is nice, right? But a billion dollars is better. But I mean, a million dollars is still a million dollars. So that's how I like to think about episode 2. It's not a billion dollars. But I mean, it's still a solid million, and I love, um, I'll take a million any day. Oh, and side note, Padme is hot as f in this movie. But out of the three girls, I would say, obviously, because I grew up in that generation, Natalie Portman, she's the hottest one. Oh my god. No disrespect to the other girls, they're hot as hell too. But other than that, let me know what you think of my ranking in the comments as well. Leave this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and once again, it goes 356412. So suck it, Disney.